Somebody's a pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll introduce you. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Between Two Screens, coming to you live from the TCAs. I'm sitting here with a star of television, stage, screen, <laughs> and most upcoming, final space for TBS. Yes. Tika Sumter. Yay. <laughs> Just for those living under a rock at Turner who haven't heard of Final Space uh -huh. yet, what is it and who do you play? Well, Final Space is an intergalactic space saga that follows the adventures of Gary, who's the main character, and Mooncake, and so many other really heartfelt characters, including my own. Her name is Quinn, and she is a commander of a ship, and she also is kind of sort of an engineer, and she's a leader, and she thinks at one point that she can do everything herself, but realizes she needs a team, and Gary is part of that team and there's also this love interest there. I also play another character, her name is Nightfall, which is Quinn in the future, mm -hmm. so. It's, Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Have you done voice animation before? Is this your first go? Have, have you always wanted to? I've never done um, animation voiceovers, but I've done like commercials. I felt good in the booth and I was able to take direction and I actually fell in love with Quinn and I fell in love with, you know, David and Olan. It's about the heart of these characters, and I was able to do that, and they welcomed me back, so that was great. Well, Quinn and Nightfall, I think, is such, A, a great character, but B, also rather important. In the sci-fi world, in the animated oh world, gosh. we don't have a lot of diverse female voices yeah. there. How does that feel, and how does that responsibility feel for you? What I love that Olan and David did, they didn't make it about, like, let's just throw in a female to make her as filler. They made her active and they made her matter and she's a part of the story. She's not just some accessory to the story. This is just about a character that's well written and so I'm grateful to them for that. Is there anything that we could maybe stereotype in the nerd geek world? Is there anything that you're a secret fan of? Well, I used to collect the Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> yes, I did too. Yeah, yeah. And then I used to collect um, He-Man figures. Yeah, stuff like that, you know, like the Smurfs. <laughs> so, I mean, I always wondered why Smurfette was the only girl, but you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I'm called a nerd, I'm like, thank you. You know, I'm just glad to be part of this world. I think, you know, Olan and, and David are just so smart and, and the people that are surrounded in their team from Turner, they're, everybody's so smart, so. Call me a nerd, I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's not really any money in animation. So. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're The Simpsons, which we could Unless be eventually. We're gonna get there. <laughs> we're gonna get there. Yeah. But for uh, starting out animation yeah. series, you are clearly choosing this project yeah. because you love it. Yes. What attracts you to a show? The character, you know, the strength of a character, the vulnerability, the arc of a character. But it depends on what part of your career you're in. In the beginning, I'm like, give it to me. How right. much? Yes, I'll take it, you know? <laughs> but now it's like more about the writers and the people surrounding the project. Are there any artists or performers that you would describe yourself as a super fan of? I, I would say Jason Bateman. I might run to him if he was like walking through the door. Well, we have a fun surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have Jason Bateman yet, but we'll get him for you next okay, year. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I love it. Well, Tika, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Oh, man. And thank you guys for joining us for Between Two Screens, coming to you from the TCAs. Thank you. <laughs> We're ahead of you. She killed it. <laughs> <laughs>